the spine. When we think of the human body and its makeup, the spine instantly comes to mind as one of the most important. It helps us to stand and keep upright against the heavy weight of gravity pushing down against the body. It gives our body a solid foundation and structure for the rest of the musculoskeletal system. Without this base, we would not be able to bend or move or even walk. The spine is made up of 33 bones. These bones are called vertebra and all fit perfectly together, stacked on top of the next to make the body's natural curvature. There are four curves in the spinal column, the cervical, the thoracic, the lumbar, and the sacral. And these curves are important in absorbing and distributing any stresses placed on the body. The cervical spine is made up of seven vertebra and found on top of the spine by the neck. This area is very important for allowing mobility to the head and neck. This region is also the beginning of the spinal cord and is where signals get passed from the brain to the rest of the body via nerves. The next part is the thoracic spine. This is the largest part of the spine, stretching from the base of the neck to the hip area. This area is where the rib cage connects to the spine, housing the vital organs such as the heart and lungs. Because the ribs are there to protect these essential organs, this area of the spine has limited mobility. The lumbar spine is the next zone, found at the lower back. This area carries most of the weight of the body. In order to compensate for the weight distribution, this lumbar part of the spine curves inward. The next part of the spine is very different to the other three areas discussed. It is known as the sacral spine, and this area does not have vertebra. Instead, it is fused together, forming a solid foundation for the pelvis, creating a shield for the pelvic or organs. The sacral spine is very different between men and women, the woman shorter and wider. This area houses the hips and is very important for the motion of the legs. The coccyx is also considered part of the spine and known as the tailbone. It is four fused vertebra creating the tail of the spine. This small area is a connecting point for muscles, ligaments and tendons. The spine is essential for the proper functioning of the central nervous system, with 31 pairs of nerves snaking through the openings of the vertebra. It is these nerves that run through the spinal column that connects your brain to the rest of the body, allowing it to, to deliver messages back and forth to allow it to carry out all your body's functions.